Hashem says the Torah is so big, so important. How dare we waste even a minute learning idol worship? When Hashem says idol worship is considered disgusting to Him, He's not only talking about the fact that it's going against Him. He's talking about the fact that instead of learning something that's the cure to all diseases, the only reason that this world exists, as it says in the book of Jeremiah, If not for my covenant, day and night, covenant being the learning of Torah, the rules of the world will cease to exist. Meaning, if someone in the world is not learning Torah at all times, day and night, someone has to be learning 24 hours a day. At some point, obviously not one person learning 24 hours, but every second that the world exists, someone in the world has to be learning Torah in order for the world to exist. If for one second, once, I'm not talking about one hour or two hours or a week, one second, there's no one in the world, Chash Shalom, learning Torah, Hashem says the rules of the world will cease to exist. It's not going to be like Noah, where it's a mabul, a flood for a year, and a bunch of balagan. No, no, he says immediately the world will cease to exist. So the little guy studying at 1 o'clock in the morning or 1 o'clock in the afternoon, instead of playing Pokemon, this moronic game that came out recently that people are killing themselves for, The world is being destroyed by the second. We're playing Pokemon. Is it a sin to play Pokemon? It's Bitu Torah, Chas Shalom. It's stupidity. Learn Torah. I just told you the only reason the world exists is Torah. You're going to tell me you're going to play Pokemon? What Pokemon? We've got to learn Torah. We've got to keep the world existing. If there's a second there's nobody learning Torah, I'm telling you, at 1.30 in the afternoon, some guy doesn't even know Hebrew. He's learning it in English. He could be saving the world. That's the value of Torah. What is he saving? A Pokemon? It's more than, than saving the world. This is what's happening in the world. You laugh. But it's, it's really sad, though. Two kids, I think two kids fell off a cliff. Like at 2 o'clock in the morning. In the yeah, park. they fell off a cliff playing this stupid game. The Mashiach is around the corner. Gogu Magog. The world, the, the, the last war we're ever going to have already started. It's just quiet. We have revolutions happening everywhere. The entire world wants to fight. Judgment Day is near. And people are playing Pokemon. Tell me there's nothing wrong with that. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.